Hi guys, and welcome back to Fallout 76, and today we're taking on the mission, I Am Become Death. I Am Become Death follows Officer on Deck and is a very lengthy mission. So much so that in the description, I'm going to put the little time codes on all the different parts of this, just in case you're looking up a specific one, as opposed to wanting to sit here and watch nearly 40 minutes worth of mission. However, if you want to see the whole thing from start to finish, then sit back and relax because here we go now i've tried to eliminate as much as i can while still keeping this as efficient as possible such as i've cleared areas before i filmed them whatnot if that makes sense so we start off we have to read these uh we have to push the little button here and have this cool little narrator narrate to us how everything works so i'm gonna let you do that there's no point in us sitting around and we're gonna go over here to this map map is just a curiosity in case you're interested red equals fissures if you haven't discovered the fissure on the map just yet you can hit x to view and it will be added to your map so red is fissures green however are launch silos alpha bravo and charlie you may have come across one, you may have come across two, you may have come across all three, who knows. But just in case, hit view, and if it's not already on your map, it will be added to your map. So very, very handy and very useful to get all of this stuff added early on. Right, did we miss anything of that one? Yes. Yes. Didn't even know that one existed. I've already been to Missile Silo Bravo, so there was nothing there for me. And over here, oh, what do you know, there's a Fisher site as well. Cool. So pushing on, we have to access this computer and it's gonna help us locate a nuclear key card in addition to the code pieces for Alpha Bravo and Charlie. But before we get into that, I wanna draw your attention to another computer. And this is to help achieve the part of the mission, search the archives for info on the launch code encryption. So we're just gonna come in here and access this computer, the archive terminal. So we're gonna to go to data archive. We're gonna hit the top one there and we're gonna to go to the code pieces and that will update the mission and give us a password that we're gonna need for a facility that we will be visiting shortly. Okay, with that done, let's just hit schematics here real quickly. And what do you know? Look at this. We've unlocked the prototype X01 armor. So now that we've unlocked these schematics, we can actually build it. I'm not going to build it here, of course. Um, that's something you're going to have to work at. It can be tricky. To begin with, you're going to have to go and farm a few things like screws and whatnot, I believe. But once it's built, man, oh man, is that worth it. So that alone was worth the trip to that console. But let's go back to our surveillance console now, because the first part, the first thing I want to get out of the way is we want to get a nuclear key. So when I select that, its satellites are going to locate um, like a, a drone that's flying around that has a nuclear key as cargo. And it initiates the quest Hide and Seek and Destroy. Fantastic name for a fantastic quest. I quite enjoy this quest, actually. So if we access our map and we have a look around for a mission marker, oh, there's one. There it is. But we're going to have to zoom in because these things are flying and these things are on the move. So based on what way it's flying, I'm going to try and jump ahead of it, which I've done. And what you want to do with a rifle or whatever you're you have is shoot at the four engines until you get smoke like we see there and once that thing starts smoking it's going to start moving really slowly opening it up to any other weaponry that you have i for example am using a missile launcher it was um i was actually taking it out for a test because i had the um the locking ability i guess auto lock but it's doing very minimum damage regardless so hmm, we'll swap it up Oh, this is a little better. Oh, and story of my life. I am out of ammo. 
Oh well. I've got another teammate with me and he's popping away with his um with his rifle, so we're taking it down nice and slowly, slowly but surely. Pop, pop, pop. And there she goes. So when she drops, you want to run towards her and loot. Loot, loot, loot. There will be other goodies in there, but the most important thing you want from this little adventure of yours is the nuclear keycard. So let's have a look. There it is, nuclear keycard. I also got a grenade, XL, purified water, mac and cheese, and some pre-war money that I can't use. Cool. And hide and seek and destroy then completes itself. Okay. So for the prerequisites, you now have a nuclear key card. Next, we're gonna go on and discover more. So I've come here to Mama Dolce's, but before you go in, well, here's where it is. Um, you've got Vault 76 over here. So it's just east of Vault 76. In fact, it's just east, east of Vault 76 and south of the airport. But before I ever go in, I always like to turn right anytime I'm here and check out this fusion generator just to see, there you go. It has a fusion core. I've just won the lottery. That may not always be there if someone's been in the area on your server recently. I just looked out in this case. So when you head in here, you want to go upstairs. We're going upstairs because we need a key card. And the manager's ID slash key card thingy bob is on his desk. And his desk is upstairs. Thus, us going upstairs. Uh, manager ID card. Perfect. Now, we need to head back down. I'm just gonna jump here and let me get my bearings again. So that's where I came in, right? So it's not that way. So with where I came in behind me, I'm just gonna head this way, turn right, and through this little hole in the wall up here, turn right again, and you see there's a little gap here in the pipe. I'm gonna to wanna to go in there. Hang on, what's that? Oh, he's gonna annoy me. Let's punch him to death. Oh, he's only level one. Pop. We'll take that meat as well. I'll probably need that somewhere down the line. And we come up to this super secret door up here and we'll use the ID card reader, which activates and momentarily that door will open. And we're in. Now I've cleared out this area, but there wasn't much here to begin with. Just follow my path as we go down the stairs. As you can see, I was really dealing with these tiny little robot things. There was also like a Mr. Handy boss, level eight, and there's one or two uh, Protectrons around the place as well. So there's not really much to deal with in here. But keep following my path. And as we work our way down here, we come across this double fusion core generator. I'm gonna come around and approach it from the right to see if I won the lottery. And yes, I've won the lottery again, but why we're really here is for this system terminal. Now, if I access the terminal and I use the password I got from the bunker and I read these three files, then that will resolve the track down information about code encryption. Now, we don't really care too much about code encryption. We're just doing this for the sake of satisfying that part of the mission. There's a website I'm gonna kind of clue you in on in a minute that will do all that for us and save us quite a lot of time. So now that I've done that, I've gone back to the bunker again. And instead of going nuclear key card escort, this time I'm gonna go silo alpha. You can pick whatever silo you want. I've just decided to go for the dude from silo alpha. That will put a mission marker on my map, which is the location of an enemy with a back sack that contains the key code piece. That's him there. You've probably seen a few of them around the map from time to time. He's totally oblivious that I'm even here. Look, pop. Oh, now he knows I'm here. Oh, man, we better smash him because I don't want to reload. There we go. Silo alpha code T3. So what we're supposed to do with these is we're supposed to collect eight. Eight different codes for alpha or eight different codes for Bravo or eight different codes for Charlie. And then you're supposed to decrypt them, blah, 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 blah. What we do instead is we go to NukaCrypt which is a website, I'm putting its link in the description. If you go to this website, it will just provide you with the code so you don't need to go through the whole decrypting process. I suggest you go to this website first before you take on this quest. If the codes are there, then you're good to go. If the codes aren't there, it means it hasn't been resolved yet. So we've met the prerequisites. We've got the nuclear key card. We 
have a nuclear key piece, even though we didn't need it, we just had to do it. We had to find information on encryption. And now we're just looking at the different silos. So I showed you Alpha, Charlie, and Bravo here on the map. And I'm gonna to go to Alpha, and that's where we're gonna start this little adventure. Alpha is here inside this tiny little shack. And you know, I'm probably gonna to have to change up the view. Let's try and pop this elevator open. There we go. Let's pop the elevator open, change the view to first person so everything is easier. And we need to use the hand scanner. And down we go. And so it begins. We're now in the Alpha missile silo. Try and get those elevator doors to open. Fantastic. I can already hear turrets going off there in the distance. There's our mission marker, so we need to get around to those, but there are enemies over there. And the ultimate goal is to get through these red lasers. That's actually our mission, find a way past the laser grids. Cool. So I could go through the door to my right and go around, but first, if you're lucky enough to have hacking skill level three, which I highly recommend, what we can do is we can access the assistant control and we can remove all targeting restrictions. And what that's going to do is the robots will no longer identify each other or the turns as friendly. In the background, now I can hear them opening fire on each other. Fantastic. You can also do the same with the turrets. So the turrets also go nuts as well. So I'm going to have them go a little nuts on each other. And once you've sat around and watched that for a few minutes and totally enjoyed what you just achieved, you can push on. I'm going out the door here. Oh, I forgot to disable the turns. I'm going to disable them because that's not the only one in there. Close the door so it can't get a pot shot at me here. And I'm just going to make sure that they are disabled just to make my life easier where possible. Now, if you don't have level three hacking, don't worry about it. Just jump out and shoot everything. Hell, that's what we do in all Fallout games. But if you do have it, you're in for a treat. Level three hacking makes life so much easier in the launch silos. So what are we doing? Find a way past the laser guards. Okay, or laser grids. Yeah. So we're gonna go to this console here. Thought I heard something. It was you. Good night. So as I said, we're gonna go to the console here and we're gonna access it. And we'll just start reading a bunch of stuff here now. Cool, great, that's all fantastic. You don't need to read it, I'll walk you through it. That's why I'm here. Okay, so that's completed and it says, I need to find a way to make a biometric ID card. So in order to make one, I can't make one from scratch. I need to override an existing one. So right now I'm kind of scouring the room and if I can't find one in the room, then I'm gonna check the area until I find one. Now this becomes more difficult if you're here with a team because you're each going to need one card. Where, 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 where? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I, I don't like coming here with teams. Ah, here's one. Perfect, we have a card. If you come here with a team, more enemies spawn and it's much more difficult than if you had come on your own. So that's another thing to remember. But because I have the card now, it's gonna send me to this computer. And I'm gonna activate the ID card eraser and it's now erased all the biometric information on that card. So now it's essentially a blank card that we can set up with our own biometric information. I'm just gonna close that door real quick. I like to close doors, so if something's coming, I can hear it. And we'll read the operating instructions, which will progress the quest. Now it says we need to acquire your biometric data. Cool. So to get our biometric data, we need to go to like one of these biometric body scanner type places. Oh goody, look, another robot. Hello. These are, uh, an area is never truly clear in a silo. Those robots are constantly constructed. So don't ever think that you've cleared an area and you're good to go. These will keep coming. All right, so pushing through. The mission markers, of course, are pointing the way. Now I'm gonna take care of these guys first because in order to get my biometric data, 
I need to step out of the power armor. I'm gonna close that door and I'm gonna step out. Nonetheless, so we get in here to this little machine and it does like a body scan or something and that's fantastic. So I'm gonna get back in my power armor acquire my biometric information. I've gone back to the biometric system where I originally blanked the card. And this time, I've asked it to write to the card. So I pick the other option. Sweet. So now I need to register my biometric ID card. And that's back on... I'm a terrible shot when it comes to this over the shoulder. We'll get him. Just keep string left. Um... The original terminal, when we first came in, that first terminal we had to access, that's where we're going again. It's on the, actually on the other side of this. And around we go. And this time I'm gonna use this to register my card. I'm gonna close this door. I'm gonna close this door, just in case. And we activate. There we go, we can see the laser grid is now down and we can proceed to the next part of this mission. So mission marker now says we need to head for the control room. Okay, so we can get through here, it says system armed, that's cool. That's uh, it's reassuring because I wanna fire. Through here, turn right and then left in through storage. Now what's going on here in storage? Nothing really to loot. Use a terminal to unlock them. Then I'm not going to bother, am I? Mm -hmm. All right, so it's this way. Nothing really loot-worthy here. So we come through here, and we're going to hang a left. And we should be able to turn right here, yes, into Powerhouse. Now there's a few enemies in here. I heard a turn to power up as well. Yes, not within range of me. Oh, something's hitting me. Oh, hello, he's dead. Now there's a computer here that we can access again if we have level three hacking, let me find it. And we can do what we did in the last room. We can access the turrets and the robots, either both or one, depending on the type of terminal, I guess. Ah, oh, there it is over here. Let's have a look. And it just makes life heading into the next room a little easier. So what do we have? It's very slow today. We can do both, fantastic. I'm gonna turn on the decontamination arch. That's just something I like to do. Um, lead engineer control, that's to kind of make the robots go nuts when we remove their targeting restrictions. and turret control, so the turrets can fire back at the robots. Wow, it's, it's really slow. So you have a busy day on the server. Let's remove those as well. You can hear it all going crazy in the background. That's what I like to hear. All right, so let's go for a look and see. Can't really see much. Oh, that's better. Oh yeah. Oh, these guys are going nuts. Well, that's what we wanted. So when you've um kind of had enough of that, I guess. Before I go anywhere, I'm just going to see if there's any turrets active that I can disable before I go in. Forgot to do that last time. And there are. So I'm going to deactivate those. Cool. Now we'll see what's left, if anything. So around and through the decontamination archway, or arch. Eeyong, come on, dehydration is an issue, but not anymore. I brought me some water. So in here, in the center of the room is a reactor. And well, the reactor needs some repair work. So what we're gonna have to do is shut down the reactor, complete repairs in under three minutes, and then reboot the reactor. And it's as easy as I put it. I'll show you now. So we gotta find a way to, to end the reactor security shutdown, no problem. So you gotta read these documents. We don't really have to, but just click in and out of them. 
And then the mission updates and says shut down for repairs. So select shut down reactors. Takes a second if you're on a laggy server like me. There we go. The reactor will automatically restart in three minutes. So we have three minutes to effect repairs. And by repairs, we mean these pipes with, um, with all the steam coming out of them. So you can, if you listen, you can hear them. If you don't hear them, then there's none in your area. Enemies will also spawn. Quite a lot of them, if you're on a team of four, from my memory. But um, on my own here, not so many. Alright, so... By the way, three minutes is more than enough time to do this. Just take it nice and slow, don't panic. If you, if you don't see any and you hear it, then it's in your area. And if you don't hear it, then there's nothing in your area. Move around. But they're really, really visible. And then up on the top right, you can see your progress bar. We need to get that to the top before the three minutes, well now two minutes, elapses. And we're nearly halfway there. Doop, doop, doop. All right. I'm not really hearing anything now. Just over here. There was nothing straight, so we're going to go this way. That looks a little high, but we can reach it. I can hear some more enemies coming as well, but... I'm going to ignore them until they engage, because right now my primary concern is repairs. If I can take the damage they're thrown at me, then I'll take the damage. All right, we're really, really, really making good progress here now. So much so that Mission Marker is now showing the remaining repairs needed. I love when it does that. And I think this is the last one. Bingo. Optional. Restart the reactor. What that pretty much means is the reactor is going to restart automatically anyway when the time runs out. But you can just give it a little nudge now if you want to, rather than standing around for one minute. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Whew. Next. Just waiting for the mission to update. Head for the control room. Well, that's a familiar mission. I'm sure we've already had to do that. That's all right, let's do it again. So, oh, mission marker's there. Oh, hello. Look at that. I, that's a hit and run right there. Whoa. He's, <laughs> this is feeling like a freaky movie. He turns around and he's gone again. This guy. Oh, there we go. Finally. Finally caught him. Oh, he's only gone and turned me right around now. Um, which makes sense. Nope, that's an empty room. Sorry. Uh, back out to the right. And over here. This is the door that it opened up. Let's come through here. Not much else to see. And take a right down here. Left and a right again. Now feel free to explore, by the way. You don't need to methodically just do what I'm doing. Pop, he's down. Another laser grid we need to get past. Best, um, I best deal with that. So to get through the next laser grid, what we need to do is destroy mainframe cores. And, hmm, that is these. So you just hit X to destroy. You can shoot them as well, or you can throw grenades at them. I'm just going to tap X and destroy them. Nothing more satisfying than doing that. Ooh, computer terminal. Well, we have to go have a look at that, don't we? So we're going to hack this bad boy. And ooh, we've got turret control access. So let's remove the targeting restrictions on the turrets and make our life a little easier when we do get through the laser grid. Now I can already hear the firefight taking off. God, I love it when that happens. Alrighty, so we still have some cores to destroy. So over here, we have some more mainframe cores. I'm just going to pop those. That's two. There's two more here. One and two. And two here. Now, directed to my right, there seems to be a bunch more. Four, in fact. So let's take out all four. Awesome. And that's that. There's some over here. Oh, the lasers are already down, but we're going to continue to do this. 
because ultimately we need to get that bar all the way down. Okay, there's that one. And then there's this room. This is the room off to the side. I think there's what, five there? Whoa, six there even. All right, with the turn down, let's go for a look. Just watching that bar as we do this. It's gonna take a lot more to get through. I'll tell you that much right now. Okay, so we're, we're not even halfway yet. So let's come true where the laser grid was. Let me reload my weapon. So there are some enemies over there. There's a laser grid here on our right. And there's some cores. Let's pop these. There we go. Yep, indeed. Um, okay, so that laser grid is down now, but I'm still going to go around to the left first. This is my way of doing things. So behind me, there's some cores. There's nothing else here. So let's take those out. Pop. Pop, pop, pop. Ooh, a computer. You just know we're gonna have some fun with this, right? Alrighty. We can do both again. So we've got operations director control. So we can remove the targeting from some of the robots or the targeting restrictions. We'll also remove the targeting restrictions again from the turrets and uh, let them have some fun with each other while we continue to pop mainframe cores. And again, just makes our life a little easier when we have to push on to that next room. Okay, did I miss anything here? Nope. Nope. All right, round over here. Oh, look at that. That's just fantastic. That is, they're going to town on each other. Okay, so we have a few more here. Should we take care of these? Another two there. Now I'm just gonna go back around because I did miss some on the others. Hello, where did you come from? That was surprising. What was he fighting with? Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna grab those ones behind me now. Yeah, I got all those, didn't I? Yes. So let's grab this. Oh, he was fighting with a turret. Well, that makes sense. That's my fault. Let's grab these as well. I just want to clear this before I proceed. I don't like leaving any behind, or I get a little lost trying to remember which one I did or which section I did a little later on. I don't trust myself enough. That's all of those. So let's come through here. We've got another blast. Ah, okay, we're gonna have to take this one out. There we go. Okay. So. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, it's looking good now. The, the mission tracker in the top right is looking pretty good. So where, 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 where? I guess around to the left, there's some more. Just try to avoid them. They seem still a little preoccupied with each other. This one maybe not, so it needed to go. But the rest of them seem happy enough with each other. Okay, let's start destroying these. Alrighty. Um, how are we looking? Not bad. Still need some more. This is... No, I'm not going to bother lockpicking that. If it's locked, it can stay locked. Just come around past that. I should find another group here. There we go. Bunch of cores. Cores are fun. Alrighty, we've done it. So now we need to head for the control room. So I'm just gonna, well, I'm gonna take care of this guy. I don't know where he came from. Come 
back around. Or not, I guess I'll just stay in the room. So, where's my mission marker it's taking me this way? I'll just ignore what's happening here and open this door. Oh, I hear something. Hello. He was pretty sneaky just camping that area. I'll take out Colonel Gutsy there as well and close the door behind him. Okay, we're making great progress now. We're just going to head down around the lower level walkways. Kind of a little boring here. Not much happening. It's a nice uh, respite for those who... Uh, Ooh, let's have some purified water. For those who have fought tooth and nail to get here, it's a nice little breather. So this door isn't labeled, but we'll go in here. It's the only way we could go. I hear turns. And they're already shooting. I'm not even in the door yet. All right, pop. Oh, the gutsy as well. So let's pop these. So in this room, I can go straight and take out a, go straight through the next door there on my left, at the top of the room, and take out a bunch more enemies. Or, to make life easier, if I do have a lock pick, I can enter a door, I'll show you here now in a second. So instead of going in there and dealing with all of those, is it worth picking up? No. I can. Yeah, there's a few in there. Ooh. Yeah, that room's pretty much full with them. If I can get through this door here. If, if you can't, then by all means take them on. This is Fallout. This is what we do. Go to this computer. It needs skill, hacking skill one. I'm gonna hack this. Boom and I can activate the turrets in room. So again, I can create just a little bit of chaos. Cool, you can already hear it going nuts. Oh, that's beautiful, look at that. They don't know what's going on. So when you're done looking at that and happy with the outcome, just clean up whatever's left. And what we will ultimately be doing in this room is the opposite to what we were doing in the previous. Instead of destroying mainframe cores, we're gonna be rebuilding them. There's a computer here that needs cores in order to open the door so we can proceed. Now it's full of damaged cores. So if we want, and that's what we're gonna do, we can take the damaged cores and we can repair some of them. Now we won't get 15, but we can certainly repair some of them. As for the rest of them, we're gonna to have to look around in this room. I'll give you a few examples of what, exa what exactly you're looking for. First, we're gonna take these damaged ones. To, to repair them, we're gonna to have to go to a tinker's bench. And I'll show you there what the requirements would be. But you can find all the requirements here while doing this mission. It's like circuit boards and steel, I think. Military circuit boards. Oh, over here, actually, look. Here's what one looks like. Mainframe core. I'm gonna put that straight in. There we go, only 14 to go. It's a miss. It's a kernel gutsy. Okay. Pop. I'm just going to clear these out before I continue because to use a tinker bench to repair anything, I need to get out of my power armor. I don't want these guys shooting me in the back and get stuck in that animation loop where I can't get off the damn bench on time. That would be unfortunate. Okay, that seems good. I'm just kind of looking around as I go to see if I can spot any more mainframes lying around, mainframe cores. Oh, hang on, there's another. He doesn't seem to care that I'm here either. Hello. Oh, he came back. Now he cares. Mainframe core, there's another one. Fantastic. Okay, so there's a there's a bench there. Let me just get out of this power armor. And we can go to the bench. So if we go to quest items, we go to mainframe core, it needs two circuitry, one damaged mainframe core, and three steel per repair. 
Now, twice I've done this, and I've used all the damage mainframe cores, but um, I still only end up with two. You'll see now in a second. I've already picked up one in this room, and I've repaired all of them, but for some reason, I'll only have three in my inventory. I think it's a bug in the game they need to address. So even though you repair them all, you still, if it's not been repaired when you're doing this mission and watching this video, it may net you two. So you'll still have to find the rest anyway. Fingers crossed that that's not the case for you. Look, there's one, there's two, there's three, and I have no more in my inventory. That's a damn shame. So I've got to search the room. Now, you don't need to go any further, really, than this room and its adjacent little closets and whatnot. Um, I'll just give you an example of what you would be looking for. They've, they've placed them in obvious enough spots. You just have to be looking for them. So, for example, on my left here, there's one on the shelf. Great. Then just straight ahead from that, there's another one between these boxes. And just around to the left from that, there's like another one down here on the right. So just kind of scour the room and find them all, as many as you need. Hopefully you won't need that many, if any, from repairs. But <clears throat> once you put them all in, you're going to have to access the computer. And you click Continue. And you click Security Door Control. And you click Open Door. It's a lot of clicks to get this door open. Well, hey, and we're through. We're doing a good job, people. We're doing a good job. So we're going to go left. This is the launch silo. Very impressive. See? Impressive. So, love this place. This is the missile you'll be launching. It's very beautiful. So you should probably like stall on here for a minute and just admire it. Maybe take some selfies with it and whatnot. I did the first time I was through here. And then you come through and go through the only other door in here to exit from. Head up the stairs, and when you're up at the top, turn to the left and head up the other stairs. Like so. Like I'm demonstrating now. Then we come through here. Now, we can see into the next room. It's a dark room. Hang on. Look at that guy being all sneaky and stuff. That was a level 40 launch commander with the boss crown thingy bob on his head. Oh, and an Assaultron at 24. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to clear out this room. So a lot of turrets around the area. I suggest clearing it out because... Well, clear out the turrets anyway. What's going to happen here next is when we initiate launch prep, some robots are going to come out, some good robots. They're on your side, one by one. They're like the launch commanders or whatever. Their job is to prep everything in the control room for launch. So they'll come out one by one in different areas and head to different stations. And while that's happening, you have to protect them. Now, if you're with a group, then you're going to have a lot of work on your hands. If you're here solo, not so much. But I see these turns. The problem is they're going to get hit by these turns pretty easily if you haven't taken them out. What I like to do is I like to just get things rolling because this is a slow process. They take their damn time getting into position. And then while that's happening, I kind of run around and destroy all the turrets and, and stuff like that. So I've sped things up a little. So I look a little more heroic when I do this. Uh, be more, more awesome, as you can see. It's a, this is epic. Everything looks awesome sped up when it comes to combat. Look at this pop. And around here, and there's a turret. He's gone. Another turret. What? Oh, damn it. Missed him. Back. Down. Another turret. I'm on fire. So we're up to, we've got three section chiefs. That's three robots that have come out now and have taken their stations. And the bar is building up. When that bar fills up, we are good to launch. And when we're good to launch, all the bad robots will stop spawning. So then we can just take a breath. I'll get all our ducks in a row, I guess, and uh, get ready for that launch. So we just all we gotta do is every time these little guys spawn, we kill them. Keep an eye on um, 
Oh, the good robots. He was a good robot. A turret shot him. I shot the turret. Problem solved. These robots are trying to kill the good robot. I kill them. There's an explosion there, but my good robot's good. So, got five in position. We're more than halfway there. Still killing things in my heroic fashion. Three quarter, more than three quarters. That's where we're coming in a second. That was the launch area. Just checking all the corridors. All right, mission complete. Whew. Countdown alpha is done. And this is the launch area. So we insert our nuclear key card in this one. That's step one. Once that's in and it's been validated, step two is we need to enter the launch code which you get from the link in the description from the screenshot I showed you earlier. And once all that's been input, you come here to this thing that says system armed and that will display a map and you tell it where in the map you want the nuke to go and that's where the nuke will go. So let's do that. First up, key card accepted. And key card ac keypad access has been granted. So I'm gonna put in a code. This is the code for silo alpha. The code won't work for you because I filmed this part more than a week ago. So the codes change every week. You will have to go to NukaCrypt. Um, again, link is in the description. So go check that out. Whatever, make sure you've got the right silo. If you're in alpha, use the alpha code. If you're in Bravo, use the Bravo code. And if there's no code there, you shouldn't have started this mission to begin with. You should wait until there's a code. Okay, so let's have a look around. Mm, this green area here is coming out from the Vault 76 and the beginner area. You can't nuke it. You can nuke around it, you just can't nuke it. Uh, what else we got? Down here, there's a group of three people, so clearly there's a base there. I could be cruel, but I won't be cruel. Uh, over here is White Springs, and there's the White Springs Golf Club. That's the best spot I find to nuke, what most people find to nuke when it comes to farming for XP and legendaries. So I'm going to pop a nuke there. And then I'll show you what it's like to be killed by your own nuke. I'll show you that in just a moment. First, once you do that, a countdown begins. And that's when everyone in the wasteland on your server gets that, um, you've probably heard it before a million times at this point. You get an alert that death from above has begun and a countdown until when the nuke hits. So everyone on the server has been alerted that you, your username, has launched a nuke. If they check their map, they can see where it's gonna to touch down. And then they can choose to either get out of the area if they're in it, or head to the area if they want to uh, go XP farming and legendary farming. So what you can do now is you can fast travel and get a good seat to watch it. If you're trying to get the trophy for um, getting hit by a nuke, you should be fast traveling now and heading right into the center of the blast zone. Or if you wanna see the rocket take off, you should stick here for another five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and there she goes. Rocket away. And congratulations, you've launched a nuke. All that's left to do is uh, go have a look, I guess. I'm gonna fast travel here now. And here comes mine. Ho oh, ho ho ho. Devastating. Absolutely devastating. I was like on the outer um, ring there. I just had to step in just a little past the boundary just to see what kind of damage it would do. And even there, it wrecked me. Anyway, hopefully you found this video some bit useful. If you liked the video, please do hit that like button and like the video. While a small gesture to you, it means the world to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. And if you don't like my content, you can always unsubscribe at a later stage. Thank you so much for tuning in and until next time, take it easy, all the best.